Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today, we are finally going to be making Anka's house area in Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Southern Hemisphere Island, nonetheless. And we're going to be doing this in a whole Egyptian theme. And we got a ton of different items here to be able to create this. And I think it's going to come out probably one of my best builds that I've done so far. We've got some gold bars here. We've got pyramids. Uh, oh, we got a couple pyramids. We've got golden dung beetles. We've got all sorts of things here. we got the golden seats, a, a mystic statue, which looks great. Golden candlesticks. we got the mummy outfit, which I actually want to check out. Maybe that'll be our themed outfit for the, uh, for the episode. We'll wear this bad boy. Like so, do we wear the mummy outfit with the top hat? Or is there something else here? A partial tank dress? We've got gladiator sandals. We'll put those bad boys on, I guess. Wear those. There we go. Oh, I've got fishnets on. Don't look at the fishnets. They're my secrets. We got more golden candlesticks. We're also going to be using the uh, Zodiac stuff. So basically the entirety of our house, I kind of want to make it look like it's being excavated. And we found her house and she's still somehow managing to live in there. And I think it's just going to end up looking really, really good. And I'm really excited to, to kind of do this. I've been kind of planning it for a while. Oh, yeah. Now we're looking. Now we're looking beautiful, baby. But what we're going to be doing is replacing Meringue with Anka, which means uh, this house is going to be getting swapped in for Anka's. Uh, but it's going to take a couple days to do that. But we're going to get it all decorated before she actually moves in. So that way it looks beautiful. But I got a lot of terraforming to do. It's going to be great. Okay, so we got to kind of figure out exactly how we want to have things placed in here. I know I want to have two sphinxes as kind of like our entrance area. And I want the entrance area to be like right around here, but also having it kind of look like a tunnel that goes into the excavation area. Um, and then I want to be able to hop across it as well. So there's going to be some interesting design elements in there. And I need to see how big the pyramid is as well. So that's actually not so bad. And we got a couple of those that we can place through here. And then we need different statues too. So I'm just kind of gauging the size of all of the items that I have. So that way I can terraform everything in the way that I need. I wish I had more of these actually, cause I could do some fun stuff with that. Um, and then we're gonna have this pathway going through here too. And let's see here, what else do we need to kind of mess with? We got golden caskets. Interesting, maybe that can go up on the ledge. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So now I just need to terraform around this and kind of create what I want. So my plan for this kind of ended up being way more difficult than I anticipated, uh, mainly due to the limitations of terraforming. But I do have some pretty good ideas of how I want to make this all work. Originally, I had wanted to fill this all in with sand, but quite frankly, um, putting the sand in just doesn't really look good. So I filled it in with sand and then I, I kind of hated it. Um, but we needed to actually wait until the next day because I had to move a house to be able to terraform this the rest of the way that I wanted to. I kind of want to make this look like it's flowing down into the Nile River and just having the pyramid there looks really cool. But I want to have um, mountains behind this as well with more rivers and kind of fill it in with plants and stuff to make it feel like it's um, like it's the River Nile. So there's I, I want to put coconut trees through here and stuff as well. And kind of just fill it in and make it look really, really nice. And I've, I've got a lot of terraforming and stuff to do. But now it's the next day and we can finally kind of plow out the rest of this. Things are moving along at a, a relatively swift pace. Kind of just been trying to figure out how to get everything placed. I really love this custom design uh, for the floor here. Um, I definitely like it better than something and pretty much everything else that I've tried so far. Um, we do need to put down more panels and stuff like that. I want to put some panels over here. I wanted to put hieroglyph panels, but um, I don't have the custom the, the ability to custom design the panels yet on this account. Um, but things are looking really good. I got to place some more pyramids. We got to build up some more terraforming back there. And um, the members community has been helping, um, bringing some stuff that we need and giving us tons of ideas on how to decorate this. And I'm quite happy with the progress so far. So a Christmas miracle has essentially happened, and Red has finally shown up on the Southern Hemisphere Island. And in perfect timing too, because we're building something where some of these things um, 
Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, he's he's somewhere on the island. Well, that 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 just figures. I like how it says one art, please. Um, straight to business. Like, for you happen to have a famous painting right here. Wait, we already got a famous painting. Are you serious? All right, well, I'll take it just to, uh, I guess, kind of supplement the build that we're doing. What kind of conversation are these lovely critters having? My goal is to be, you know, a multifaceted pop star, baby. A munchy faceted what now? Oh, Filbert, I hope to God. So last time Filbert had a conversation with a villager, he just completely trolled Tasha. I hope... I love Blue Bear, but I hope our boy Filbert trolls Blue Bear as well. I want to be someone who has, you know, a bunch of different skills. Hmm. What kind of skills should I learn, Waffle Jr.? Uh-oh. Uh, artsy skills, cooking skills, survival skills, baby. I mean, okay. Yeah, maybe I could do some survival stuff. I could sing songs about, I don't know, um, farming or compost heaps or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whoa, real good ideas, bucko. Compost heaps be way useful if zombies attack the island. Zombies? But why would compost... You know what? Maybe I don't need any survival skills. Oh, Filbert. God, I love Filbert. He's one of my favorite villagers. He is the best. So we've done a ton of decorating, and I decided to remove the custom pathing that we had through here, just because with placing all the things, it just wasn't feeling very good, I guess. I don't know. I, I just didn't end up liking it. I love the pathing, but I didn't end up liking the way it looked in this particular area. We've got the top left here all nice and decorated. We got some pots through there, some bushes, some trees, some shrubs. It's looking really good. Ended up moving the pyramid here, and then... We decided to custom design these um, simple screens to put the hieroglyphs on there, and it looks really, really good. And basically what I'm trying to do now is I want to have this as like a, uh, a spot where you can look down on everything from up here. So I'm just trying to make sure the scenery and everything looks really good. Um, so every once in a while we hop up here and just kind of check how things are going. The top left, we need some coconut trees and some statues and stuff, and it's coming along really, really well. So, so far we've spent about three days um, working on all of this, and I gotta say, I'm really, really enjoying the way it's coming out, especially with those Egyptian panels. Um, I, I want to kind of decorate all of this going through here, and uh, maybe going to like the, uh, the Roman Greco style stuff, and maybe displaying it through here as well, and up on the edges. Right now I'm kind of just working on the finer details of the area. Um, but I'm really happy with the <laughs> poor meringue here. She doesn't even know. She thinks like this whole area is being made for her. And uh, lo and behold, she doesn't know she's about to be moved out for Anka. Uh, I feel a little bad about it, but you know what? This area is coming along super duper well. And the last things, I really want to do more of these simple panels. I've got a ton of them. And I think they would look good, but I also want to see if any of these other... Uh, Zodiac style things will look really good in there. Uh, I do want to make a Taurus bathtub. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Oh, the scales. So we need the Libra fragments and I can put some of these scales out. Maybe put it on top of a cancer table would look good. And then I wanted to make more of the Aquarius urns. Okay, so I think I am finally ready to showcase pretty much the finished product of what we've got going on here. Um, we've put a lot of work into this, and I think it's come out super duper good. But we're going to go with the view from up here. I don't exactly know what I'm putting on the top bit here. I want to move a house maybe over here, um, or build something even more over here. But I wanted to make this look like a super cool view. So, like, right at this point right here, it looks phenomenal. We've got the sphinxes, the... Basically, everything you can see from here is going to be Egyptian-themed. Uh, so there's a little bit more we need to do on the far left side there. Um, but it, I, I, so far, I'm just absolutely in love with this. We've got all the Egyptian stuff down there and some more of the um, uh, Zodiac things, which look really nice. I just got to figure out what I want to do on this level. But um, Philbert is still super duper happy in there. 
and I can't wait until we get Anka moved in. So Meringue lives here right now, uh, but working on getting Anka moved in instead of Meringue, which is going to look great. I want to get some more of Red's uh, statues and artwork, although I think it does look a little funky in here. Uh, if you look over... Actually, you know what? Let's go this way, and then I'll kind of showcase what we got going on in the far back scenery bits. Uh, basically, I have it set up right now just so that it looks cool from afar, but I do have plans to actually make this an area you can go and hang out in. Uh, but right now, so we got the Sphinx and the Pyramid up here. I want to have a path that goes along here with actual railings along there that look nice. We got the King Kamehameha right there, which looks really nice, and a place you can sit atop your golden throne next to the Scorpio lamp. And then just the, we just need a little bit more uh, things to put throughout here. And then down here, since you can't see it from distance, I don't have this all decorated. I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting stairs here and then allowing you to be able to kind of like have like a, uh, a picnic spot here, maybe. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it, but I do know that as I acquire Red's uh, statues and stuff, I want to have this filled up with all of that nice, cool stuff and maybe have like a, a picnic area down there. But I really do love how this has come out. I hope everybody enjoys it and maybe is inspired to decorate your own um, Anka-themed area. There's, there's lots of cool ways you can create, like, villager-themed spots on your island. And uh, I think it's a great addition. But anyways, let me know what you all think in the comments below. That will be evolving over time. We're going to be spending a lot more time decorating um, the Southern Hemisphere Island now. But thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.